friends, welcome to our channel. Here we have come up with our next video on fascinating facts about our brain. Let's dive in. The brain is the source of all the qualities that define a humanity. It is the crown jewel of a human body. Even the supercomputers cannot match the powerful ability of our brain. How does our brain manage to perform all of the actions including downloading, understanding and reacting to the ball information through our senses. Let's figure it out. The brain can be subdivided into three basic units. The forebrain, the midbrain and the hindbrain. Forebrain is the most anterior part of the brain and contains the most complex networks in the central nervous system. The forebrain is responsible for higher cognitive functions. Midbrain is located between the forebrain and hindbrain. The midbrain is part of the brain stem and controls motor movement and sensory processing. The hindbrain includes the upper part of the spinal cord, the brain stem, and a wrinkled ball of tissue called the cerebellum. Different parts of the brain contribute to different functions. First comes the cerebrum, which is the largest part that takes up to 85% of our brain. This is actually the thinking part of the brain and controls the muscles. It's due to the cerebrum, we can walk, dance, play games, learn new things. Next comes the cerebellum, which is relatively small portion of our brain, which helps us to maintain a balance and regulates water movements. Then comes the brain stem, yet again a small portion of our brain, which is connected with the spinal cord, which controls activities like breathing, maintaining your heart rate, digesting food, etc. Last comes the almond shaped area called amygdala, which is a small part of our brain that has a big job. Its name means almond because it's almond shaped. It's responsible for our emotions, survival instincts, and helps to store memories for events. Recently, Scientists have discovered that for a period of time after we exercise, our brain produces a chemical that helps us more willing to learn. So, if you are stuck with any of tiresome activity, go out and play for a while or do some workouts or exercise and you would definitely be able to crack things easily which seemed tough some time before. Some bonus facts. Do you know the brain fools us in four ways? Our brain is a predictor. It doesn't wait for the sensory signal to deliver a command. Rather, it predicts a way before what's going to happen based on its experience and sends directions accordingly. Let's look at the four bullet points you have been waiting for. First, the cooling effect of menthol. If you chew a menthol candy and breathe in by your mouth afterwards, you experience a cooling sensation. Yet, if the temperature is measured in your mouth, you would not record any dip in the same. Your brain, however, conjures up this illusion because menthols activate the same receptors, TRPM8, which is responsible for sensing the cold temperature. What is TRPM8? Transient receptor potential cation channel, also known as the cold and menthol receptor 1, is a protein that in humans is encoded by the TRPM8 gene. The TRPM8 channel is the primary molecular transitor of cold sensation in humans. The chili sensation. Whenever you eat chili peppers, TRPV1, the ones which normally sense heat, gets activated. And the brain is pulled into thinking that you have eaten something hot. That's why your face is flushed red and starts sweating. But birds never feel the spicy pungent chili sensation of capsicum. What is TRPV1? Transient receptor potential valinoid 1 is an ion channel that plays a role in variety of functions including pain, inflammation, thermal regulation, other functions. TRPV1 is also involved in thermal regulation, neuroprotection and more. Third, the quenching of the thirst. Whenever there is a deficiency of water in the body, the brain bestows us with a sensation of thirst so that we gulp down a glass of water and rectify it. It actually does this with the help of osmoreceptors 
which sets the level of water in the circulating blood. When you drink a glass of water to quench the thirst, it takes about 20 minutes for your body to absorb the water until the osmoreceptors Hey, the water level is fine. Still, your thirst vanishes the very instant that water reaches the stomach. This is your brain predicting the result way before and falsely satisfying your thirst. Fourth, the sensation of wetness. There's no receptors on your skin to sense the wetness of something. It is sensory lesion crafted by your brain based on the temperature and tactile sensation of water among a few other nonsense. The brain comprehends all of it as a whole and makes a new sensation out of it. Interesting, isn't it? Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found this video very useful. Please do subscribe and like our video and give your support to us. Thank you. Bye-bye.